Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. And this is a quick tutorial on using OpenOffice Calc to clean up a poorly formatted document. You see them all the time. People who don't know how to use a word processor or a um, spreadsheet. So what we're going to do here is clean up this document, which is all over the map. We've got all kinds of data scattered around the same page, which makes it difficult to manipulate the data in a coherent fashion. So we will first make sure that we save our original. So we're going to file save as. This is the original. Right there, original. And save. Now we're going to file save as. <coughs> and we'll say improved. Because if I do make a mistake, I'm sure I can go back and fix it. So, uh, first thing we want to do is we're going to rename some of these pages. Let's see, how many pages do I need? I've got four, five, and five, and six. Okay, so I need one to six, so I'm going to create um, alt tab, grade one, and let's go to alt, um, alt, grade two, and I click on this one, alt, grade three, and I'll create a new one, uh, insert sheet, after current sheet, name, grade four, and create a new sheet, insert uh, sheet five, I just changed that, grade five, after, click OK, and one last page, insert sheet, sheet six, grade six, after current sheet, uh, and click OK. Now, I think there's some split between A's and B's, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Uh, I want to clean up some of this pre-KG stuff. I don't need any of that. So I can delete that. And delete all. Click OK. Now that's the first one. Let's go over and compress that a little bit. Now this should be, that's grade three. So let's go see if we can find our grade ones. I don't need that. So I can delete that as well. Delete all. We're looking for a grade. Don't need that. Okay, and still lots of data all scrunched and put in the wrong place. KG2, grade one. This is what I was looking for. I can delete this, delete rows. This is what I was looking for because this is my grade ones. So. Press all that and well, <clears throat> actually, my grade ones can stay. Let's go get my grade sixes. Here they are, scattered all over the place again. So let's go up, 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 and click on that. So that's my sixes, X, and then go to grade six, control V. Okay, so we're getting closer. There's my six A's and six B's. Very good. Let's go back to my original page. Uh, I gotta find my data to B. There's my 2B and 2A, so I can click on that. Control X, go to my grade twos, click on there, control V. Uh, 2As and 2Bs all nicely arranged. Grade three, gotta go back to my original page, which again is a hodgepodge of uh, poorly structured data, because it's all over the place. You can see how it's scattered all over the page. Control C, actually control X, go to grade three. Control V uh, and save this because I've been working on it for a while. Again, it's the improved one, so I'm not overriding anything. I think my grade fours is what I'm after now. So I can delete that, delete, and grade four, control X, grade four, control V, and go to my save grade one. Now I'm looking for grade fives. I can delete this, delete rows, uh, grade 5, A and B, control X, control 5, control V. Okay, now essentially um, I've put the my grade 6's um, and I should delete some of these blank lines so that I don't have to look at them. Uh, delete rows, 
delete rows so I can see my 5As and 5Bs more or less on the same page. Let's see about my grade 4s. They're good. Grade 6s, you know this is going to be a problem. There's all kinds of empty data. Delete rows. There it is, 6A, 6B. Grade 4, that's fine. Grade 3, that's fine. Grade 2, grade 2. 2A, 2B, they're scrunched up, that's fine. And grade 1, now this is their original page. And let's see if we can view. Oh, look at that. Uh, let's find the other page. See, now it doesn't give us page preview. Let's see, I want to see all of my pages. Cancel, close preview, so file print preview. Let's see where my other documents are. Page preview, I want multiple pages. Where are they? Data sources, PDF, full screen, page, orders page, cancel. Uh, close preview, so where is my big picture data? Uh, there's my grade ones, okay, which is what I was looking for. So control X that, bring it all the way to the top, control V. Now let's see what, let's save this and let's see if we can get a control print cancel. I want to get a view page break preview. There we go. Okay, so there's page one. Got all kinds of blank pages in here. This is and delete that, delete rows, and let's drag that all the way to the top, just like that. Okay, grade two, that looks good. Where's my grade three? Grade three, uh, grade four, make sure that's grade four, yep, grade four, grade five. Grade six, okay, that's looking, that's looking okay. Now this is I imagine this is going to tell me that what's going to be printed. So let's scroll up and grab all of that. Um, although I don't know why it's not highlighting like it is here. Uh, that's a curious question. Won't worry about it though, because that's not exactly what I need. Um, save my changes, and what I need to do is actually create um, a space here so I can enter in grades. But what we've done is set up a very basic, a very basic tutorial on how to clean up a poorly formatted calc document uh, to make it easier to use um, in terms of separating out into different sheets. Thank you very much for watching and happy computing.